Mavueni Kilifi Azimio leader Raila Odinga has come to the defense of controversial televangelist Pastor Ezekiel Odinga. Hey guys, welcome back again and this is Bob Shakwila Show. I bring you stories, live stories, stories za kuelimisha pia za kufanya nini? Za kuhamasisha jamii and it is why we are here again with this blog on what is happening around the world, around you or just in the neighboring. You may not know and we are here to comment and to talk on them and as we do this we must face challenges on the way and the challenge we faced that's just a few days ago i'm sure one or two of you might have come across a video somewhere just alleging or putting some things against the show before you comment before you judge listen to our side of story on the pinned link down pale kwa video so guys before we continue let me introduce to you this <laughs> beautiful blog for today if you've noticed we've already started so Raila Odinga has insisted that no criminal activities are going on in the Pastor Ezekiel's church. And yesterday we were here looking at the reasons as to why Raila Odinga had visited the church. One, two, three, four, five, we talked of maybe it's political reasons. Maybe Raila Odinga likes justifying things for himself. We understand him as Baba and that is the way we love him. Yeah. So that is the chief chief leader for opposition aliweza kufika pale yeye mwenyewe na tulikuwa tunaangalia ni kwa nini and one of our reasons was pingine ameenda kusanifisha yale ambayo yalikuwa yamesemwa na DCI walipoenda kule na lawyers wake pastor Ezekiel kuangalia nini kimo ama nini huendelea katika kanisa lile and you remember the lawyers Dalton Omari na pia wale DCI makachero wa DCI walikaa pale they said it was a seven hour search they searched inch by inch building by building looking for a mog it was alleged kulikuwa na mochari pale ndani waliangalia hawakupata chochote and with all this Raila Odinga had to still visit by himself and after visiting today he comes out with a message and the message is here for you what Raila found and Raila Odinga has stated by himself or has stated that there is nothing illegal there is nothing wrong going or trans Paring in that church. You know Ezekiel is not like out, out, bado uchunguzi unaendelea. But Raila has gone there by himself with his team just to check on what might be happening or alleged to be happening in the church there in Kilifi Mavueni. So, Mavueni Kilifi, Azimio leader Raila Odinga has come to the defense of controversial televangelist Pastor Ezekiel Odero, who is being investigated over alleged involvement in several crimes. On Sunday, May 6th, Raila toured Ezekiel's Mega New Life Church Prayer Center and church in Mavueni, and he was shocked by what he had seen and what he heard about him. Yeah. Raila said he was shocked by what he had seen and what he heard about him. So the audience, you remember the other day Raila alikuwa mahali, I think it was a uh, ilikuwa ni mkutano na alikuwa anasema kina Pastor Mackenzie, sijui kina Ezekiel, baba yao ako kule ikulu. Yes, yet hapa Sandy amekuwa shocked kile ambacho aliona ni tofauti na kile ambacho alikuwa amesikia kutoka kwa watu. That those are the days ambazo pia this guy ambaye tunamuongelea pale kwa video nimwambie muangalie alikuwa ameplant watu wakuje waharibu show na fake news fake evidences. What Raila had heard about Pastor Ezekiel. So the ODM leader insisted that there was no sign of any or imagined criminal activities happening at the prayer center which hosts at least 50,000 people. Raila said he would visit the church again and pledged to support the pastor's noble project. Raila alishtuka. Na uh, he has insisted that there is no sign or any imagined criminal activities happening at the prayer center which hosts at least 50,000 people. We heard of the place. The rumors about the place being big, having the international state or status having flags from different countries. So Raila said that he would visit the church again and again and pledged to support the pastor's noble project. Many of you are happy by this since 
you know Raila. <laughs> you know the history of Raila and churches. And with this, we now just learn that Raila only supports where there is truth and transparency. And where he has seen or come na ameza kuhakikisha ya kwamba hakuna maovu hapa, then he must support that. <laughs> now that is the baba we know. Ya angalingi kitu juju na ana support too. <laughs> and he has just witnessed by his own eyes that hakuna kitu mbaya pale katika kanisa la nani la Ezekiel and that is why he is there as we finish Ezekiel has opened the church despite court order <laughs> so on sunday may 7th pastor Ezekiel held a service at his church despite a verbal closure order issued by the coast regional coordinator Roda Onyancha so before the service, police attempted to block worshippers who arrived at the prayer center as early as 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Masaya asubuhi watu walikuwa wamefika pale. Na kunambiwa pastor alifungua kanisa. And it has just been said that the regional coordinator Roda Onyancha during his arrest on Thursday 27th, he only commented that kanisa limefungwa. And you know for a church, a registered facility kufungwa, inafa nini? Inafa iwe ni court order. Si maneno tu ya mkuwa nini ya kuja onge tu. Mm -mm. Remember the other day when Mandamano was there and uh, IG was there. The what be Mandamano? <coughs> But again, that can only be stated by the court order. So before the service, police attempted to block worshippers who arrived at the vast prayer center as early as 5 a.m. However, the preacher's lawyers, Dansan Omari and Cliff Ombeta, maintained that there was no valid court order preventing Ezekiel from holding the church service. There was no, Dansan Omari and Cliff Ombeta were there and told the journalists there was no court order preventing Ezekiel from holding the church service. And if there is, then it would have been online. Everyone would have seen it, even the media. So moments later, the church was packed to the brim and Ezekiel was captured conducting the service as usual. So the self-styled preacher had made an application to have his church reopened. Now we are here again. Why is it or why is the preacher uh, making an application to have the church reopened. Was it closed? And if it was closed, the lawyers are saying it wasn't closed because they had no church order. So the application was certified as urgent by the presiding judge Olga Sewe on Thursday, May 5th. The judge directed Pastor Ezekiel to serve the state with these documents ahead of the hearing of the matter on Monday, May 8th. Ambapo Nikesho. So, that happened as it happened. And we are here to say that Leo Nime, we've read on various blogs that Ezekiel, you know, Ezekiel got freed on May 4th. The court released the embattled pastor on a cash bill of 1.5M and a bond of cash 3M with the same surety amount. So Shanzu Law Court Senior Principal Magistrate Joe Omido threw out the application by the state to continue holding him for 30 more days, saying the prosecution failed to provide relevant material evidence regarding the case. The preacher was ordered to report to a police station once a week or as required by state. He is being investigated for murder, aiding suicide, abduction, radicalization, genocide, crimes against humanity, child cruelty, fraud, money laundering, and being an accessory to crimes. Hi, you mashtaka ambayo, mubiri, zekela, ameza kuekewa. So my guys, that is it for today. Thank you for being here and supporting the show. Bye-bye. God bless you. If you haven't subscribed, kindly remember to press the subscribe button. Bye. God bless you.